Pinangunahan po ngayong araw ni Pangulong Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. ang paglulunsad sa bagong LRT-1 Fourth Generation Right Rail Vehicles na paniguradong makatutulong sa libo-libong mga commuter. May ulat si Kenneth Pasyente live. Kenneth. Alan, itong nakikita mong train set sa aking likuran ay isa yan sa mga bagong bagon na magagamit na ng mga pasahero ng LRT Line 1 simula ngayong buwan. Ito ang tinatawag na 4th Generation Light Rail Vehicle, so LRVs, ang pinakabagong dagdag sa kasalukuyang 3 Generation Train Set ng LRT Line 1. Mismong si Pangulong Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. ang nanguna sa inauguration ceremony ng naturang LRVs at sinubukan pang sumakay sa mga bagong bagon. Sa mensahe ng Pangulo kanina, ipinunto nito na bahagi ito ng commitment ng pamahalaan na makapagbigay ng moderno, episyenteng railway transport system sa mga commuter. In my first State of the Nation address, I emphasize the integral role of infrastructure development such as the construction of farm-to-market roads, improvement of our railway systems in our social and economic progress. It truly makes me proud to witness the steady realization of our vision of a more developed Philippines coming into fruition through our new LRVs which will be used in the existing LRT1 system and on the LRT1 extension to Cavite. I recognize, of course, the hard work that has been done by the Department of Transportation, the Light Rail Transit Authority, and the Light Rail Manila Corporation for working together to provide the Filipino people with a safe, reliable, and efficient transportation services. Tiwala rin ang punong ehekutibo na laking ginhawa ito sa mga commuter na araw-araw na gumagamit ng LRT-1 at nangakong magpapatuloy ang kasalukuyang administrasyon sa pagpapabuti ng transportasyon para mapalakas ang mobility sa bansa. We will be able to now aid in eased, easing traffic congestion as well as mitigating air pollution caused by vehicles plying the roads of Metro Manila. Equipped with advanced passenger information systems and a new signaling system, I am confident that the LRVs will not only improve the overall passenger experience, but also will be championing safety. The flagship infrastructure project is expected to service up to 800,000 passengers a day and shorten the travel time between, between Baclaran, Pasay City, and Bacoor from 1 hour and 10 minutes to 25 minutes. Ang mga bagong train sets na ito alan ay may total capacity na 1,388 passengers kada biyahe at tinatayang may bilis itong 70 km per hour. Simula July 20, aarangkada na ang isa sa dalawampung Gen 4 train sets at madadagdagan ito ng isa pa kada linggo hanggang sa Disyembre. Using a longer train set will increase ridership to 300,000 daily passengers up from existing 280,000 a day. That's because each four car train set can carry a minimum of 1,388 passengers. When the LRT1 Cavite extension line gets completed, travel between Baclaran and Bacoor Cavite will be reduced to just 25 minutes from the current 1 hour and 10 minutes due to the increased maximum speed of 70 kilometers per hour. Alan, dalawampung fourth generation train sets na ang meron sa Pilipinas sa ngayon at inaasahan nga sa Nobyembre at sa Pebrero sa susunod na taon ay darating pa yung sampung fourth generation train sets. At inaasahan naman ang full deployment nitong tatlumpung fourth generation train sets na ito sa fourth quarter ng 2024. At ano muna ang latest, balik sa'yo, Alan. Maraming salamat, Kenneth Pasyente.